Hey guys, it's Victoria and Lydia. Say hello. Yes. And Lydia will be three months old tomorrow. And we had a little bit of time now, so I thought we would try to do a quick three month update. Um, I will just do one for her and me because I don't have much to update. Um, so we'll jump right in. So Lydia is the best baby ever. Our other two children, you have a banana, yes. Our other two children were very, very good babies, but Lydia is a dream. And I think part of it is because we are so much more relaxed and confident and calm and it's easy going. Um, I'm a strong believer that when you put those vibes out there, the baby feeds off of that. And when you're a, you know, a stress ball and really anxious, then they feed off that as well. So I think because we are calm, that helps her be calm. Um, I also think because she's our third, she's learning quickly that we don't, we can't always jump at her every cry because we have two other children that need attention as well. So sometimes she has to wait because I have to feed the older kids or things like that. So I think she's learning quickly that, you know, she needs to be a little bit more patient than an only child would be. More. Um, and also I think it's just her personality that she's just a chill baby. So we're really, really lucky in that sense. Um, so as far as eating, sleeping, schedule, all of that, she has five six ounce bottles a day and she finishes them almost every time. Sometimes she'll leave a little bit, but normally she will finish the whole bottle and she eats about every three hours during the day and then she sleeps through the night. So it's, it's incredible. <laughs> she normally is awake between, um, seven and eight and then is awake for about an hour, an hour and a half before she will get fussy and go down for a nap. And that is her most consistent part of the day. Um, it's pretty much every single day is the same, which is nice. So she will then sleep for anywhere from an hour or two. And when she wakes up from that nap, she will have her second bottle of the day. Um, after that, things are a little bit less consistent. Um, she will often have a nap in between each bottle. Sometimes she will, I will group two bottles closer together so she'll have a nap later and it'll be a little bit longer. You're all done? You don't want your banana? I'm gonna save it. Want me to save it? Okay. Yeah, put it right there. She's trying to save her banana from the dog. Um, but the afternoons really don't have a whole lot of consistency at this point, which is fine. Um, you know, she's pretty content. So whether she has a few cat naps or a, one or two long naps, either way works for us. Um, my parents were away last week, so it was kind of nice. We were home almost the entire week. So it was kind of nice to let her, her lead when she slept and when she ate and when she was awake. Whereas when we're out doing things, um, sometimes she'll just sleep whenever we're in the car and then wake up. And so this way it was really, uh, she was really in charge of her, her schedule for the week. Um, she sleeps all of her, bless you, all of her naps and nighttime sleep is in her crib in her room, which we did from day one, from as soon as she came home from the hospital. When we're at my parents, she usually will sleep on their bed. Um, but we're prob I'll probably get the playpen out this week and try to start putting her down for naps there because that's where she will nap when we're over there until she, well, Alexandra naps in a bed there now when she does nap. Um, we had a bassinet there as well, but she never really slept in it very much. Oh, anything else for sleep? She sleeps on her belly and that's the way she's the most happy and we are comfortable with that. Um, as far as what she wears to sleep, she has been just sleeping in like a light cotton sleeper. It's finally starting to get nice here. So she seems to be comfortable in that. Our house is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for sleep and eating. And for clothing, she is wearing six month clothes pretty much across the board. She has a couple like three month things that will still fit the, the pieces, the outfits that are from Carter's that are like a onesie pants and like a jacket or a like a vest, those she can still fit into her three month ones, but anything that is a little bit snugger, she is definitely in six months. She's a, she's a pretty chubby baby. <laughs> yes, you are. Do you have any smiles?
This is the face that she has most of the time, sort of like, just perplexed, just contemplating life. Very serious. <laughs> You're so funny. She is in size two diapers, and I wouldn't expect her to be, I don't expect her to be in size two much longer either. She'll probably jump up to size three pretty soon. I'm not sure what she weighs, because she doesn't go to the doctor again until she's four months. Um, so I really don't know what she weighs. She was 12, just over 12 at her two-month appointment, but she's definitely bigger than she was then. Friends of ours just had a baby about 10 days ago, and I went to visit him on the weekend, and he, he was a nine-pound baby, so he wasn't tiny, but he looked so tiny, and it just showed me how much she's grown and how much she's developed. You want a glow stick? Oh, my chair is on her taggy. There, sorry. That's no good. Uh, she is very smiley, especially when she first wakes up in the morning. She's starting to talk and coo and, and respond back to you when you talk to her. Um, we haven't got any real all-out giggles yet, sort of like the starts of a giggle, but not a full one yet. Um, I'm just looking at my notes. That's why I'm looking over here. Um, she likes her bouncy chair and her swing and her play mat for short times. Usually she'll go in the bouncy chair in the morning upstairs while I get ready and then she'll have her nap and then throughout the day she'll go you know, sometimes on her play mat, sometimes in the swing. We don't use the swing a lot because I find it tends to put her to sleep and once I see her starting to fall asleep I like to try to move her to her crib and sometimes she'll have naps in her swing but usually I try not to leave her in there. I'll move her to her crib. Um, she loves mirrors and she's starting to grab things and starting to pull things to her mouth a little bit like she's starting to chew on her hands. She's very, very drooly. Yes. Very drooly and like when, you're, when I'm holding her, she'll be just trying to like suck and chew on my shoulders. And when we put her down to bed, we usually put her down, she's pretty awake. And she will do the same thing with her bed. Like she'll just, like she's trying to eat it and then she'll fall asleep. So I have to change her sheets a lot because where she sleeps on her belly, she drools on the sheets. So I have to change them almost every day and sometimes a couple times a day depending on how wet she gets them. Uh, now that the weather's getting better, we're starting to get outside more, which is great. Um, I do find it a little challenging where she's small because we can't really do um, sunscreen, just trying to keep her in the shade. But I find that she doesn't really like the sun, like she gets really... Um, like blinky and squinty in the sun and I have little baby band sunglasses but she doesn't like those either. So just trying to get her used to that. I guess she hasn't been out much so getting her used to that. She hates the car seat when we're not moving like screams but as soon as we start like the second we, before we are even out of the garage she's happy and she's fine. So as long as we're moving my biggest nightmare is like red lights and traffic. <laughs> Luckily our city doesn't have a whole lot of traffic. But yesterday we were driving over to my parents right at supper time and there was some traffic so I took like a really long route just so I could keep driving, like continuous motion. Um, I've been wearing her in like my Beko carrier quite a bit and actually my ring sling, which I think you can see it's right there by the door. <laughs> I'll point it right there. Um, which surprises me because I didn't like it with Alexandria. I got it when she was a little bit older and I never really get the hang, the hang of it. It's a homemade one and the fabric is quite stiff, but I've been using it a lot more so it's starting to loosen up and I'm actually finding it, it's just so easy to just slip her in and slip her out where the, the Becco is more straps and buckles and takes a little bit longer to get her in. I do find both carriers hard on my back. I have a lot of um, back pain pretty much all the time. So I do find them hard on my back, even though the Becco is supposed to be like one of the better, the better carriers for that. Um, that's everything there. Um, I didn't mention at her two month, uh, her two month update, the doctor when she, he was examining her, um, thought she was holding her left hip in a bit of a weird way. Um, when he examined her and did like the rotation and straightened her legs out, he said everything felt fine and looked fine. But I, th I think it was just the way she was laying on the table. Like she was just kind of at an angle and she kept like when she would pull that leg up, she would just kind of keep it there. And he wasn't really concerned, but he said, I'll refer you on to the orthopedic surgeon just in case. He said in all of his career and he's, 
he's been my family doctor since I was born, so over 30 years. He's referred many babies there and never had one with an actual dislocation. So he wasn't really concerned, but we went to the appointment and the surgeon thought everything looks totally fine. So that was good. So we don't need to go back, have that checked. That face, could you give a smile maybe? Maybe one smile, just a little one? No. Um, she was baptized this month, a week, about a week and a half ago. Or I guess last, was it last weekend? No, two weeks ago. She was baptized and my grandmother came for that. So her great grandmother. So that was exciting. My sister and her husband arrived yesterday. Um, they get to meet her for the first time. So it was a, a good month for meeting family. Yes. So she is a wonderful, sweet, adorable, chubby, kissable baby. So as for me, uh, I'm doing really, really well. I feel great. Um, I run my 5k on Sunday. I just uploaded a video yesterday about that. I will try to link that. I'll put the little link up above. Um, so I think I'm ready. It was very, very challenging on Sunday when I did the trial run yesterday, I guess. Uh, but I did it. So I'm confident that I can do it. It's definitely still a struggle. Um, I am trying to eat better and run you know, two or three times a week and get out and walk on the off days and just lose some weight. I'm quite a bit heavier than I was when I got pregnant. I was my lowest weight ever in my adult life when I got pregnant with her. And I gained a lot, like almost 50 pounds. So I have a lot to go to get back to where I was or even to get back to where I'm happy. Um, and I know I'll get there. It's just this time of year is so hard where the weather's getting better and like my sister's visiting and so we'll be spending a lot of time with them. And my family is terrible for like cocktail hour and snacks before meals, like, you know, chips and dip and pretzels and party mix and all of that. And I love, love, love that type of food. Like I could just eat that. Most people could. So trying not to. We went over last night and they had chips out and I didn't have any. And I was so proud. Um, I just know at this point in my life, when I'm trying to lose weight, if I have one, I will have a bowl. So just trying to stay on top of, of that and eating better. I'm not one to buy into any of the, the fad type diets, the shakes, the, oh God, it seems like there's a new one every other day. And I'm not saying that those don't work, but in my opinion, it's not a maintainable way to lose weight because eventually you have to start eating again. And I think if there's, you know, anything that seems too good to be true, probably is. And, you know, I think the best way for me to go about losing weight is just to eat healthier, eat regular meals, drink lots of water, which I'm terrible at, and just get out and move and exercise. And that seems to have worked for me in the past, so hopefully it will work, it will work for me again. So I think that's about it. For my update, not a whole lot to, you know, to update. We're just trucking along. Glad that it's uh, getting nicer out and we're able to get out and, and do more. So that's really nice. So anyway, this one is getting cranky and I have to take Noah to preschool in like 45 minutes. So that's so, uh, it's frustrating when naps don't line up with a uh, <laughs> drop off and pick up for preschool. But what can you do? I'll probably put her in her crib and then move her into the car seat to take them. Yes. Yours it was weak. Alright, thanks so much for watching guys. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll talk to you in my next video.